Hi, my name's Kent Wynn, and in this short video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to composite loads of photos together in car photography and then put them into Photoshop. So, this is what the image is going to look like when it's uh, finished. As you can see, lots of light underneath, light around the whole car. So, using this technique, basically, what you want to do to start off with. Um, around the images, you want to find a, a really nice point where you want to keep your camera because you don't want to move your camera at all throughout the whole shot. Um, even sandbag the camera. Um, I mean, this is my first attempt at doing the, the compositing technique. So, I mean, you can use more professional kit. You can use soft boxes, iCard, um, and Pocket Wizards as well. But in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to do a very basic version that I created just using flash guns and wireless triggers. So you set your camera up from the start, make sure it doesn't move throughout the whole shoot. You want to be basically using the wireless trigger and uh, popping different bits of light as you can see underneath the car, uh, towards the front of the car, uh, literally get as many images as you can all the way from being overexposed to underexposed and you're think, probably thinking why do that but when we go into Photoshop um, you'll see why uh, having an overexposed image or an underexposed image will help you. So let's close this down and let's go into... So as you can see here I've got probably about 20-30ish photos um, all together as you can see some of them are like this one where it's just a light at the front so location as well is very important uh, let me just click back on this image just to show you uh, I chose this particular location because it has very nice lighting from the top lights as you can see here so it gives it a nice natural light along the tone of the car here as well as you can see this was at a car meeting so there was a couple of us down there getting some nice shots of our car. But you can choose any location uh, that suits you or suits the, the shot that you want to go for essentially. So what you do to start off with is obviously you're going to have all of these images. So you're going to highlight all of these images here and you're going to copy them into Photoshop. Um, I'm not going to show you how to do it from start to finish because that will take a very very long time but I'll give you a basic idea of how it's done. So you get all of these images and you load them into Photoshop. So as you can see here, let me just click off all of these layers. Okay, so I started off with the original here, a very nice low light one with a couple of nice tones around the front of the bonnet. So you start off with an original image like this, you'll go through probably 50 odd images, however many you take and a very very important step to do what you want to do in Photoshop is um, you want to make sure that you have front and bonnet light, you want to have back light, so you want to name all of your different layers as you can see here. Um, so let's just go on interior light just to show you a brief example. So what you're going to do with some of these is, let's just put this on, so as you can see here you can see the, the difference between having the layer on and then the layer off. So, how, how to do that is basically, what I did is, I just used this tool here, which is uh, the poly lasso tool. So what you can do is, you just crop out certain areas like this, where you want light to be, or where you want to capture certain parts of the light. And you can see now that's selected, you just control C, and then control V to paste it. Um, and then obviously all of these little edges around here where the windscreen wipers are, you can slowly go around and erase those or crop those out. Um, but you do essentially the same thing here for every type of pop shot that you have around the car. So for the front of the car you'll be wanting to crop certain lights around here. Uh, for the wheel shots you want to be cropping certain parts around here. Um, and that's when the, the very long part comes in. Um, <laughs> it can be quite mind dulling at, at, at points but once you come to the finished product, it's, it's very much worth it.
Um, so I'll just show you briefly uh, what it would look like. So I've just put that in black and white just to make it stand out a little bit more on that layer. Um, so we go for the wheel light here. As you can see, huge difference already. So I've cropped all of those out and done the wheel lights and the front bonnets as well. I mean, as you can see, there's bits, random bits here. Don't worry too much about that looking a bit funny to start off with because you can blend all of these different layers in on top of each other once, you know, once you've got all of your different categories, your side tops, your underglow lights and, and etc. Um, so don't worry too much about that looking a bit funny. You can blend that in. Um, so we've got the backlight here, we've got the underglow light as well. So as you can see, me clicking on that layer already gives a dramatic improvement to the image. And then you go to side and top light. So the side of the car, as you can see, has got some really nice light around here. And then I've done a little bit of a, a wheel toner here, as you can see, just to make the wheel not look so dark and, and so fake. I've, I've made it look like it's almost got some light popping off it around there. Um, and then just to finish the image off, uh, just to make it pop out a little bit more, what I've done is put a black overlay here. Um, very simply, you can just go to the rectangular tool here, um, make a, an image like that, and then you just fit it, obviously, to the edges of the box of your image. And then literally just go on the eraser tool, pick the biggest eraser you can here, um, and then just erase around certain parts where you obviously want the car to stand out. Um, eventually, it will come out like this. And then obviously just add your, add your own logos and your bragging rights at the top. And that's uh, pretty much how it's done. I mean, there's obviously a lot more steps in between and there's lots of different cropping and going through all of your different panels and your glows. Just making sure that some parts of the car stand out more than others and the blending as well just making sure that the light actually blends around the side of the car here and on the front bonnet um, you can choose any technique that you want to for this but um, I would say using this technique gives a unique difference because the image stands out so much more than it usually would I mean if we go all the way back to what it would look like at the beginning if we look at that now in comparison to this with all of the layers on you can already tell that that looks like a much more sufficient image than it did before so thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video I hope you did and I hope you learnt some new things from it like I have um, if you did enjoy it please pop over to my YouTube channel and hit subscribe or pop over on Facebook and check out Kent Wynn Digital Media, which is my Facebook page. You will find a lot of designs, uh, videos and also tutorials. Thank you.